Hi, I'm Frank Herkovic, and I'll just give you a brief introduction here on how to use Keynote 08. So it's located in my dock here. It's a brown podium, whereas the 06 version is blue. So I'll just click that, and if it's not located in your dock, you can go into your Applications folder in your hard drive here, and it'll be under iWork 08. And you could simply just drag that down to the dock to add it. Alternatively, you can go into the Spotlight area here, type in Keynote, and it'll be the top hit available. So you see Keynote has opened here. There are several templates available. Uh, I'll go with the Modern Portfolio. Click Choose. And I'll just shrink the window here a bit and adjust, adjust it within here. So you see, to simply add text, you would follow the on-screen instructions. So double-click to add, and I'll just type in something basic here. And I'll need to add a new slide. So I'll just click on the New button here. And I'll add a few. And I'll just double click again. Add some more text. And uh, see, after I press a line and press enter, it makes a new bullet point for me. And if you would like to change the appearance of one of the slides, you would go into the themes here. You could just simply click on one of them. And it would change just for that one slide. If you would like to then change all of them, simply highlight them all and just do the same thing. So you see it's added the new theme here. So I'm just going to undo that. And I'll do it for the other one as well. So now I, let's, I have added text here. And if I wish to change the font at any point, I could go into the Fonts button here select the one that I desire and I'll just change it to Helvetica bold and I'll change the size to 64 and let's say for this one I wish to add in a photo so I'll just simply go into my media button here and you see you have audio photos and movies so the photos are your iPhoto library and to add you would just simply click and drag and the photo becomes inserted and it's able to be resized and dragged anywhere within the page. I'm just going to shrink it down here, put mine up here. Now you see it's the yellow lines here assist you in centering. So you'll see here it's right in the center. I'm going to move mine in here, but the problem is it's blocking my text. So I have the photo clicked with these squares, and I'm just going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to click Send to Back. And you see the photo is behind the text now. And I would like to change my photo slightly. So I'm just going to go to the Adjust. And you see there are options here for your photos. As well, I'm just going to go into the Inspector. And you see I've gone into the Graphic tab here. And I'm just going to change the opacity to lighten a bit so it's easier to see the text. And I'll just add another photo down in this one. So you see this photo is rather large, and I'll just center it here. And I'll perhaps shrink it a bit so there's a white border around it. And I'll just add one more. And this one I'll make small. I'll just find the center there. Okay, so let's say I've added all my text and photos. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning, and I want to add the transitions now, so how the slide changes from one to the next. So I'm going to go into the inspector, and I'm going to click on this button here, and I'm in the transitions. And I'm going to choose an effect, and I'll say cube. Gives you a little preview. If you would like the same for all of them, just simply click all of them and select whichever one you want. If you want each one to be different, you would have to go into each slide individually. You can uh, adjust the speed or the duration of the transition here. And I want my transition to start on every time I click uh, the space bar. Now one new feature too that you are able to do is you can make things move. So I'm going to click on my picture here and I'm going to go into this button which is another build and I want this photo to build in, I want it to appear. I'll 
choose another one here, maybe a dissolve. And I'll just make that a bit slower. And we're just going to add another slide here. And I'll put in, let's say, I'll put in an MP3 file. So I'm in my iTunes now. And I can just click and drag this. A speaker icon appears, which can also be resized and placed anywhere. And I'll just double click to play it. And I'll just click again to stop. Now for your presentation, the, the volume might be loud, so you might want to adjust it. And you do that in the inspector button. Go to the last area here, just like in pages. And I'll just adjust the volume down low because I'll be talking over it during my presentation. You could also adjust if, the, if you only want the first five seconds to play or if you only want a certain segment of the song to play, you could do that. So I'll just click that again. So you can see it's the volume is lower and it started at a different place from apart from the beginning. And I'll just go back to this one. I'm going to click on my photo here, go back to the inspector. And I want my photo, I want it to give it some kind of action. So I want it to move. So you can see this is the start point, this is the end point. So I want mine to come in from the top. I want it to appear like it's falling. There's a preview there. You could also create different paths if you want it to be curved. And then this you would just simply click and drag it to however you wish. So if you wish to play it, then you just simply click this button. Now I wish my text to appear at different stages. So I'm going to go to the build in. I want it to appear. So you see there it appeals in a whole block all at once, so I'm going to do it by bullet. And it would appear like that. So every for each line to appear, I would press the space bar to do that. So let's just say we're done creating our slideshow here, and I'm going to save it. Just give it a title, and it's saved on the desktop. And if you find it opens this way, you simply click this button to find other areas. Now I've given it the title demo, saved on the desktop. Now just like in Pages, I'm using the 08 version. If I have an 06 version at home and I would like to work on it at home, I would need to click this so it would open on an 06 version. And you also have an advanced options, copy audio movies, so it would make a folder to save those MP3, MP3 files or video files I have inserted into this. I'll just click Save here. And you see it's on my desktop here. Now another good option we have available is exporting it. So you see you can export it as a QuickTime movie or a PowerPoint or a PDF as well. I'm going to do mine as a PowerPoint if I use a, a, a PC at home. Same thing, opens again. I'll just click Export. So you see I have a PowerPoint here. Here's the folder that has the media files in it. And see we have something that's saying uh, some warnings occurred. So some of the transitions that you have chosen may not be available within PowerPoint. And I'll just leave that at that. So just some of the other things if your text here, if you wish to color, change the color of the text, simply go into this button, choose your color. There's several view options available on how you would like to apply that color. Uh, you can also insert shapes. I'll just put in a star here. And, there, and that can just be dragged and moved around to wherever you want. And effects can also be added to those shapes as well. Uh, if you wish to insert a table, simply click that button. And you see there's a grid can again be moved. If you wish to adjust how many rows you want or the columns, and let's say for this one, I want to merge all of these cells, so I would go into here and simply click that. If I want to go into the format, set on automatic, some other options available there. And those are pretty much the basics that uh, you would need just to simply create a keynote.